I've been feasting at the seat and now they say less But never skip a beat to hear me speaking like the bay less They say I ain't the king but secretly I'm on their playlist That's why I keep receipts on their critiques from every waitress My bishop said the truth to cut you deeper than the stainless And say that jealousy just like with love can be contagious And this is why I'd rather be unknown and just be nameless Then again it's just a price you pay for greatness Castles in the sky were all my safe bets Pawn in the paid debt No shopping that pay less But now that I got a queen I flip the bill and don't pay less Handing L's at every night like I play chess I was in the cut, cutting up like an uppercut They cut me from the team and cut me off an undercut I cut my losses so it seemed Now it's no wonder why I'm seemingly a cut above the rest My plot is what was shut Was tired of broken inside of a cage What's up, guys? Your boys are back. I'm Ryan, my man, George. What's up, guys? How you living out there, man? Shout out to the free thinkers. And of course, shout out to everybody that's been following us on Def the Radio. That's D-E-A-F, number two radio. Make sure y'all follow us there. As always, make sure you like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Make sure it's set to all so you get notified as we drop new videos. Upcoming artists, make sure you click the link in the description. We'll do about 60 seconds of your song in the front of one of our upcoming videos to get you some exposure. Make sure you check that out. It's been five years since Black dropped an album. And we were like, nah, that can't be. East Atlanta Love Letter, I think is the name of that last album. And we were like, nah, it can't be five years. It's been five. That is so crazy. Yeah, man. Do me a favor, man. Don't tell me that you grew up to us, man. I feel old, man. You know what I'm saying? We get too many, <laughs> we get too many like messages. Uh, oh man, you know, I was in high school when you guys first started doing videos. Now I'm in college. I'm about to get married and have kids and shit. No, it wasn't anything like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm joking. I'm joking. But I, I say that to say. That, that it really does put it in pers into perspective how long we've been doing this and how long, obviously, Black has been yeah. out of the game in terms of at least releasing an album. I think he's released little singles, little songs here and there, I think, since then. Mm -hmm. I have to kind of look because I think we've done something from him since East of, since the songs from East Atlanta Love Letter. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's just, it, like, you know, that's kind of what, what Ryan was getting at. It's just put things in perspective. Yeah, man. man. So I'm shout out to you. Black for... You know, re-emerging, man. You know, we rock with Black on this channel. So the name of the song we're going to get to today is Since I Have a Lover. Mm. Since I Have a Lover, huh? Mm -hmm. What? Since I got a lover, that means I don't need a new one? Is that what that means? Let's get into it, man. Black coming back, man. Five-year hiatus here, at least from albums. Yeah. Since I Have a Lover. Like, did he reinvent himself and, like, he's in love now? It seems like, you know, he's uh, matured a little bit. You know what I mean? Oh, based on the lyricism. When it comes to cutting ties, shit, I'm like a pro. That motherfucker was like, I do this shit for fun. And problems, I got real shit to think about. Girl, I ain't thinking about shit about you. Pimp shit, you know, I ain't really uh, settling down with nobody. But then I hear this, and it's like on a poppy uh, soundtrack in the back. And, you know, since I got a lover now, you just gave up all the all the pimp. You turned into pimp cane, man. Not the cane. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Not the goblet. <laughs> so I don't know, man. I don't know. I don't think it sounds bad. Though, I, do, I think you're accurate, though. Seems to have found somebody, you know, I feel like a million bucks. Feel like we need to be up to something. Don't want to love you just for fun. 
So he's found someone substantial, it seems like, in his life. You know what I mean? He's not the not the cold blooded killer, man. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> not the contract killer with the ladies anymore. So, and that probably is one of the reasons why he's taking that five year yeah. uh, hiatus, man. But you know, black and scissor, man. I see what y'all doing, man. I'm gonna talk, <laughs> talk about it, man. At the end, and we'll let yep. the shit rock, but I'm gonna talk about it, though. I see mm -hmm. what y'all doing. Got too much to do, and the days don't get no longer. Cooped up for the winter, we gonna drop this love this summer. Because I was just I was just telling George, like, yeah, man. <laughs> I was about to write it off. As soon as you saw the heart, it was yeah. <laughs> as soon as you saw the, the hand heart, <laughs> it was about to be a rap, huh? Cause that, that's just not me, man. I can't do it. I just can't do it. <laughs> and that's 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 cost me relationships. I know I'm not about to sit here and buy a box of candy and and and, <laughs> and, and give you roses and shit like that. But what we will do is whatever you want, you can have. We can go out, we can we can do fly vacations, whatever you want. Every day can be your birthday if you want. But I'm just not gonna do that simp shit. I'm not doing that. I'm that not doing like tricking to me though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just feel like the motherfuckers that do that constantly, like, oh, you know, hey, well, 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 you know, let me, want me tap dance for you? Want me, want me, uh, well, let me rub your back, <laughs> or you know, let me get you some, let me, let me buy you some flowers. I feel like those are the, the motherfuckers that be doing some, some, some foul shit anyway, or don't value mm -hmm. that relationship every day. 
So they so they feel the need to, to go, overcompensate. Yeah, I feel like that's what. And I, I don't know. I could be wrong, but I feel like the motherfuckers that I know that do shit like that. <laughs> that you know too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I know. Like the motherfuckers are. Re- you got to do that shit because you ain't. You, you don't have nothing else to give. You know what I mean? You're a piece of shit every other day. So you know what I mean? You're a piece of shit, black. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> With that being said. But I'm clowning for the most part, guys. But you know, yeah, there's there's some truth in every in every joke. But when I saw the little hearts and shit like that, I just feel like, I, and I know that this is a Ryan thing. I just, I, I yeah, I, mm-mm. I. But I'm older though too, so I don't know how old uh, Black is, but I don't think he's my age. So I, I just, to me, I'm not gonna go up to my girl and 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 give her the heart. Fucking, not, I'm, just, I'm just too old for that shit. And the 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 poppiness of the song too. That's so I didn't really like the 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 poppiness of the way the song sounds. Sound like a pop song to me. So I was already, it was already under the gun. It was already in the scope for that reason. And then when I saw the heart, I'm like, oh yeah, that, oh, that shit just, that pushed me over the edge. But he saved it with the, with the, I was like, wait a minute though, because I thought the song was over too. We both did. And then I heard the next song coming in. I'm like, okay, all right. You, you, you said I was this close to me. Like, well, I was done. It wasn't no close. I was like, yeah, nah. He did say though, <laughs> when that next song came in, if you were kind of catching the lyrics, he's saying something about getting bent down on one needle. Oh, you did? Yeah, that's what he said. Oh, okay. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. He, said, he might have to retract that until yeah, we're to... We to retract that until we... <laughs> but earlier in the video, I said that I, I uh, was going to get back to, to something. I was like, I see what you're doing, Black. You and SZA, right? And um, I, SZA had a song. Uh, it's a ballad. Like, nobody gets me this song. It's too late. I don't want to lose. What's left of you? is an R&B artist that gives you real life. I wouldn't say, you know what, SZA has kind of like, yeah. even from the Control album, she had songs that I'm like, ah, that's like bordering on pop R&B. I mean, she's kind of, she's really rode that line extremely well. I yeah. think as well as you can do, but still get core respect from that yeah. R&B community. Yep. I, thought she's, I think she's done that brilliantly. But this felt like a real departure, I feel like from R&B, R&B. It's felt like this is more, yeah. th- to me, this is just a pop ballad, honestly. Yeah. I actually think she did a really good job with Me this. Too. Me too. And I feel like that's kind of the feeling I got with yeah. this song with Black. Like, yeah, uh, Black is on some rap shit. You know, he can rap. Black's got bars, though. And But but it was more centered in, I would say, R&B, alternative R&B. Yeah. This, to me, felt like a a more of a pop departure, yeah, yeah. I think, for Black. Which I'm not mad at. I'm not mad at someone trying to spread their wings or whatever, you know, to do whatever you got to do. But um, I just wanted to point, kind of point that out. I'm like, I'm seeing like, I don't know if that's a trend that we're going to start seeing more yeah. and more, but, I, yeah. you know, credit to SZA, credit to Black for trying to spread their mm-hmm. wings and shit like that. I'm not feeling it. It's not something that I can see myself really, right. really banging. I like the slick, the, the slick talk from Black. But you see the chess move. I see the chess yeah, move. I you respect see it. it. You see it. I respect it. Yeah. I respect what SZA was doing. SZA actually bodied She that. bodied I, this she, song. She bodied that. She bodied that I, that I ain't going to lie. She bodied that. And I think Black did a serviceable job for if you're looking at the song like a sort of him venturing into pop, mm-hmm. I think it's a serviceable job. It doesn't sound bad. It's just not style-wise what I've come to really like from Black, but I don't think it was meant for me. I don't yep. think it was meant for motherfuckers that's Mm-mm. into core R&B like that. So I got to give it up to him, man. And then that transition to um, the second one was more of a, that to me sounded like a hip-hop yeah. R&B joint. He was, seemed like he was a little bit more in what, you know, conventionally, what's conventional for Black, because Black is not conventional. But what's conventional no. for Black is that sort of merger of rap, R&B. And he has his own little thing in how he sings and raps at the same time. It's a, it's a certain sound that he brings that I think only I've only really heard from him. Um, there's a lot of people that sing and rap, but I feel like the way he does it is his own thing. So yeah. I'll be curious to um, to see how that, you know, what, what back he gets in with, for, with this album. Because I feel like he's probably going to be taking us different yeah. places, you know? So I don't think it's going to be East Atlanta love letter. I think it's going to be just love letter. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I think the thing that I think Black and uh, SZA have in common is that I don't think anyone's going to take Black as some sucker that's not no, that's not man. from from it. You know what I'm saying? Like, we know East Atlanta love Black, so we see what you're doing, but you still seem to maintain, even in this song, when he was just like, let's smoke, let's get lifted. Like, that yep. sounds like Black. Yep. And SZA's song had me butt naked at the eight, at the MGM, so wasted, screaming, fuck that. Yeah. Blurry now. Like, it's still edgy, right? Yes. So you you don't take it as them necessarily like selling out. You take it as them just experimenting, right? Because yeah. some people just well, like when Usher did "Oh My God," I was like, man, "Oh My God, get the fuck out of here, man!" <laughs> Shout out to Usher, legend. 
amazing. Usher's amazing. But when he did Oh My God, I was like, that's just a sellout move to me. Mm -hmm. But when you still maintain essences of who you are, which I felt like Black did kind of maintain his certain laid back, smoked out hood essence while still from a sound perspective experimenting, I still think that I have a level of respect for the experimentation. Pull up problems right now. Pull up the views on problems right now. Problems is was hard. When we were exposed to that, I was on this shit is fire and it's different it's him it's in even cutting ties even even um uh switch, switch. even uh i mean i, I gotta go east atlanta love letter dude album. black is a calculated dude and i, I can just see it i could see in the movies mm -hmm. he makes i could see that he's he's a true artist so i know that there is i i don't know i truly <laughs> feel that there's no way that black would make a song like this and not know that motherfuckers like us would probably not rock with it yeah. I, I have a feeling he knows that and he's like, fuck it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm going to do still do me, do something different. Yep. And y'all don't know. Y'all don't get it, man. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Now, maybe there's something for us in the album that will be more exactly. our cup of tea. And like we'll, that next song. We'll that see. Coming. That, that sounded that, nice. That though. little prequel right there. I like yeah, it. Okay. I'm glad he put that in there as well, sir. <laughs> That's the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed that, please hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. I'm George. That's Ryan. Las Vegas. We, we out. out.